Hi, boys and girls. What's the favorite machine that you have used before? Is it the vacuum machine that helps you clean up all the dust and dirt? Or is it the refrigerator that helps keep your soft drinks really nice and cold? Or is it the washing machine that helps you wash all your clothes? Or is it the vending machine that provides you with all your favorite snacks and drinks with just a few coins? Have you ever wondered if there will ever be a machine that will help you with almost everything? And maybe this machine can even do your homework. Yes. Now, what's the point of going to school? You you already have such a machine, right? So machines can become intelligent when they do, and they are called robots. So robot. let me share this nice story about robot Clink with you. Clink. By Kelly DiPuccio and Matthew Myers. As far as robots go, Kling had his fair share of problems. He was rusty; even his dust had rust. He was squeaky; even his creaks made squeaks. And a day didn't pass without something falling off. Kling pop ping, but. The problem that made Kling's dials drop and his circuits shot out was nobody wanted an old robot. He didn't know the first thing about doing homework and baking chocolate chip cookies like Penny. The world, it seemed, was no longer interested in a robot who had been programmed to play music and make toast. He didn't have cool retractable arms like Zippy. He didn't have fancy attachments like Blade. When people came into the store, they marveled at Zippy's ability to pick up dirty laundry and play baseball at the same time. When Kling tried to do the same, everybody just laughed. Every day. Blade wowed the customers, snipping and shaping one of a kind hairstyles. When Kling showed off his clipping skills, the results were usually disastrous. And when children lined up around the store to sample one of Penny's warm chocolate chip cookies, nobody, not even the store mice, seemed interested in Kling's dry toast. At night. When the store was closed for the evening, the other robots tried their best to keep Kling's spirit up. Penny gave him cookies, Blade gave him a makeover, and Zippy gave him a pair of underpants. Well, he meant well. One by one, Kling watched his friends go home with happy families. He hadn't been programmed to cry. But somehow he licked rusty tears every time, and then something inside that old robot broke, and he simply switched off his speakers and gave up. Many weeks later, a young boy came into the store. It was the same old boy who stopped by every week to look around, but never bought a thing. Nevertheless, the proud shopkeeper always welcomed an opportunity to show off his brightest and best new robots. Behold the amazing colossal board! Too big," said the boy. "Twinky, too pinky, Bongo, too bouncy." Nothing the shopkeeper showed him was just right. The boy was about to leave when Kling heard the happy hum of music. Suddenly, the squeaky gears in his head began to turn again, and he got an idea. Kling stood up tall, brushed off all the dust and cobwebs, and belted out a hit, whooping, toes popping, and shoes stopping tune. The song was old-fashioned and crackled with static, but there was pure joy in every note. The boy turned around. The old robot had never danced before, 
But now he was twisting and twirling, knocking over boxes and toppling displays. At last, Kling had caught someone's eye. But then, pling, pop, and ping, a rusty spring hit the young customer square in the forehead. The music stopped. If robots could flush, Kling would have turned a hot shade of fire engine red. Oh, so sorry, cried the shopkeeper. I've never seen him act like this before. Wait, said the boy. May I see him first? This troublemaker? The shopkeeper handed Kling to the boy. He's very old and his missing parts. The boy's eyes lit up. He's perfect! I'm perfect, thought Kling. It had been a very long time since anybody had thought he was perfect. Kling smiled. Pling, pop! The boy ducked. I'll take him, he said. And so, as far as robots go, Kling had his fair share of good luck too. He went home with his new friend, Milton, who, as it turns out, likes burnt toast, and is great at fixing things, and loves to dance. So, are you a fan of Robot Click now? You see, robots can have different purposes that serves the likes of different individuals, and maybe you can be a fan of dinosaurs, and you might not have a robot that makes cakes into different dinosaur shapes and sings dinosaur birthday songs for you. Wow! Now, isn't that kind of funny? So what kind of robot do you think suits you? How about you, Teacher Charlotte? Hmm. How I wish I have a robot that can sing me my favorite song without counting me and can massage me every day. Well, then I guess the robot must be really smart. Yes, smart with muscles. Wow! So can you please draw out how your robot will look like? Alright boys and girls, let me show you! First, I will need a large piece of craft paper, probably A2 size. And we are going to fold it and cut it out. To turn my paper longer because my robot is tall. Of course, if you don't cut it, you can just remove your A2 size. Of course, you must remember to be careful by using your pen knife. We are going to use soft pastel for today's project. To begin drawing our robot, we can use the lightest color. You can choose either white or yellow. I will begin to draw my robot head, starting at top of the paper. my radio robot head. He can play my favorite music wherever I request. Next, I'm going to draw my neck and body. And this is my robot body with a lot of stuff. You can see here, this is my massage lotion, my toner, my facial cleaner, and my moisturizer. And these two hands that is a special tools can help me do my massage and help me massage my head, my shoulder, my back. And when I'm having my massage, I can enjoy a cup of tea or coffee. 
and for the right side is a very special magic wardrobe and can help me to turn out any beautiful dresses when I go to any occasion what about my feet? hmm I want my robot can help me to do my housekeeping I invented my robot feet with a vacuum cleaner and he can help me to clean my house. How about you, Teacher Werner? What kind of robot suits you? Well, sometimes I get busy and I forget to drink water. And I love all kinds of coffee and Pepsi. So I'm sure children love Milo, right? So yeah. my robot will be a robot that can follow me anywhere and everywhere to... Uh, Remind me to drink water and wow. get me the coffee that I crave for. Boost me up with Pepsi. And for you children, get you some Milo. Wouldn't that be nice? Right. So let me show you how my robot looks like. First, um, I will be choosing the A2 size paper. Uh, I won't be cutting it. So because I think my robot's going to be big. All right. So... First, I will start off with the robot's head and uh, I'm going to use the white soft pastels uh, just like what teacher Charlotte has used. Okay, so uh, I'm going to draw uh, slightly close to the top of the paper and right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to begin. As you can see, the, this is the head of my robot. I've got the eyes at the top and the head of the robot is actually made up of a very huge uh, five little uh, uh, bottle uh, that can contain lots and lots of water. Of course, it's clean water for drinking. So um, that it will be the head. And you can see that there's actually a, a funnel at the top for you to pour the water in and of course there's a cover uh, so that dust doesn't get in all right so i'm going to proceed with the body okay so uh how will my body look like i'm gonna start drawing okay This is my robot's body and um, what you can see here is that the, the head itself uh, has pipes that go downwards where you can see the pipes go downwards and it's divided into three columns. So one will be the main one that's for just for plain water, okay? And uh, the other one will be for towards the uh, area where we can make ice cubes, all right? So I can get cold water. Then after that, I've got a... Uh, this side that goes down to make hot water. As you can see, this area will actually be fire and it's going to boil the water whenever I want it to. All right, then we've got coffee, we've got milk, we've got Milo and we've got Pepsi compartment. Of course, if I want to change to other soft drinks, my robot's able to do it for me. And we've got cups that will be stored here. Uh, it's not just one, so there are many cups behind. So uh, then where you get to dispense the water from here. So what's next is I'm going to uh, draw out the arms and the legs. And my arms are going to be special because they are extendable and they are going to help me to wash the cups. You know, who's going to help me wash the cups after drinking, right? So uh, it's going to help me to uh, buy coffee beans, uh, scoop ice, 
and many other functions. All right, so let's begin. So boys and girls, this is my robot uh, where you can see the arms claws uh, and the scoop to scoop the ice. Okay, and it's uh, gonna maneuver with wheels. All right, so you can go anywhere, turn in any direction, 360 degrees, 180 degrees, go up slopes and stuff like that. This, this is, is our, our robot. robot, boys and girls. What about your robot? So what kind of robot do you want to invent? Send in your drawing by taking a photo. Send it through this link. We hope you have enjoyed this lesson online and you are already beginning to get inspired to invent. In the next lesson, we will show you how you can use soft pastel to decorate and apply colors to your robot. See, See you in the, the next, next lesson. lesson. Bye bye. bye.